Hey everyone, in this video we are going to discuss one of the axioms of set theory. There are many axioms on which the theory of sets is based and in this video we are going to discuss one of the axioms of set theory and is known by the name of axiom of regularity. We know uh, by definition of a set a set is a well defined collection of objects and in this definition there is no restriction on the nature of object so the natural question arises is set an object and the set theory says yes in set theory set itself is assumed to be an object so if set is an object the natural question arises can a set belong to itself or not is it that is is it possible for a set to belong to itself in other words is it possible for a set to be a member of itself the answer is provided by the axiom of regularity and it states that a set cannot belong to itself so the statement of axiom of regularity is a set cannot belong to itself if I have a set A, axiom of regularity says that it cannot belong to itself. It cannot be member of itself. In this axiom of regularity, we implicitly assume that a set itself is an object. Now, consider this example. I have a set which is denoted by the symbol A and is defined as set A is defined as and it consists of all those objects x such that x must satisfy this defining property what property x is an element of this set a if x is a book so this is my set and i want to know whether a belongs to a or not actually in example will support our axiom of regularity i have a question what is the nature of the elements of this set A? Obviously, if I give you an object and ask you, does this object belong to my set A or not? And the object will belong to the set A if the object qualifies as a book. So the defining condition for this set is that an element will belong to this set if that element is a book. So the nature of the elements of this set A is that its elements are by nature books. Now the axiom of regularity says me that a set cannot belong to itself. And obviously we know A cannot belong to itself because A itself is not a book. It is a collection of books and obviously a collection of books is not itself a book. Let me put it another way. Imagine a set and make it analogous to a room in which we have several things. You could have a rack of books, a box, a mobile phone and several other things in the room. And we know from that a room itself is not included in the room. So this example supports the axiom of regularity. And obviously A is not a book. So A does not belong to itself. This example indicates the fact that in fact there is at least one set which does not belong to itself. So assuming the axiom of regularity seems genuine. Isn't it? Yes, it is. In fact, you can think of many, many more such examples. Really, there are. Try yourself and work them out. Until now, we came to know that axiom of regularity simply says us that a asset cannot belong to itself. And what is uh, the supporting example for that? This is the example. In this example, I have a set which whose elements are books. And obviously, 
the set a itself is not a book so a does not belong to itself now i have some objections to aor consider the following this collection i have denoted deliberately this uh, collection by this notation c subscript n and it consists of all those elements x such that x is not a cigar okay the question is does cn belong to cn or not axiom of regularity says it cannot belong to itself but let us check it out we know for an element x to be an element of cn the element x must satisfy its characteristic or defining property and what is it, what is the defining property of this cm its defining property is that that object x must not be a cigar so it means that by definition or by the defining property of cn cn contains every object which is not a cigar which is not cigar so does cn belong to cn that is is cn an element of cn now axiom of regularity says it cannot belong to itself but here is an example and uh, i am going to check whether my assumption is right or wrong whether it axiom of regularity always holds or not so an object x will belong to cn if x is not a cigar question is is cn a cigar obviously cn itself contains everything except cigars and cn itself is not a cigar if cn is not a cigar it means that it is satisfying the defining condition of this very collection or this very set it means that cn is not a cigar implies logically that cn is going to be an element of cn so here is an objection to aor so we came to know that there are some sets which can belong to itself and cn is one of the examples there was a ripple in the foundations of mathematics when this objection to aor was introduced so in order to settle down the ripple in the foundations of mathematics mathematicians instead of assuming aor they assumed that there are some sets which belong to themselves and clearly this contradicts this example is clear contradiction or objection to aor so mathematicians in order to settle down the ripple in the foundations of mathematics math against to aor they assumed following what a set a may or may not belong to itself accordingly we have following classification of sets and uh, here it is ordinary sets and extraordinary sets now what is an ordinary set a set s is ordinary if this thing happens what uh, a set is a set s is ordinary if it does not belong to itself that is if it is not member or element of itself Uh, what is the example this is the example set b is the set which consists of all the books and these are other examples which are ordinary sets and accordingly i have second classification or second type of set which is known by the name of extraordinary sets and here is the definition a set s is extraordinary if it belongs to itself that is s is an element of s what is the what is an example this is the example which i have already introduced to you pn is also an example of extraordinary set you can yourself create many more such extraordinary sets thanks 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 a lot